to game two. Day one, I am New York 2020, EG Triumph, Fury of Rebirth around the corner. Well, let's get this one started. GG.bet favoring the number one online at the moment. It's Kadian getting a quick four man on one. That's no fun for anyone. Tess is trying to bait in his teammates. Barb's hitting all the headshots he needs to. Cold Zera taking his sweet time. Brokey, though, does hit his shots. Nico still being baited in by Borup, and it works. Two in that dark position. Now Nico hitting more headshots, just getting more and more problematic. But it is Nico versus Nico in the server tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's the same capitalization in the kill feed, so I probably will lose my mind at some point here today. <laughs> it's not, is it? It is in the kill feed. O on the HUD it wasn't, but in the kill feed it looked to be that way. Now, <laughs> with that pistol round right there, something that was interesting was Cadian death or basically baited them into faster onto that A side yeah. of things, and then Nico staying silent under the balcony and being baited for again. So it was like a double trap from Heroic coming on in there. I love seeing selfless plays against someone like FaZe that is notoriously not quite there on, you know, offering yourself up for the greater good. Yeah, and we're going to have to see them with a real change here because if they're just coming in and the rumors are true that players are looking for other homes within this team, yeah. uh, then look, there's a l already a little bit of, uh, I guess, discourse within the squad about what could be the future. Uh, and you don't want to be going in disgruntled into a matchup like this. So away we go back towards middle. Tassus on the catwalk position, ready to deal with this. The run boost up and over we go. And He'll do a little bit of damage. The nade might actually finish off Nico. A little bit shallow. Rain down towards window. There you go. Look at the capitalization. Why is this? Oh. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's doing that. Rush, do we set the capitalization or do they? So there, we do. We can do it through HLE. It's actually really weird because on my radar, he's actually won Nico for me. So it's it's different everywhere. Right okay. Now. So yeah. Okay. Oh, that is so confusing. We'll figure it out. We'll don't you it. worry. We'll it. It's all gravy. For now, Brokey and Kierby, the last two. And both Nikos are dead, so it doesn't really matter. And one of them's blue. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> All right, well, decent damage. I'm curious, like, realistically, if you were going to say, hey, Chad, uh, gun to your head, what kind of score lines do you think you would see over these two maps? I'm thinking heroic with 16-9 type of victories, right? And, and it should yeah. be a 2-0. If I'm being honest with the Counter-Strike that we've seen in recent times, you should be backing heroic in here 100%. as the number one favorite. I mean... Where do you want to look for your proof? You got clone? Sure. Well, that's that's easily heroics. You want to look at Pro League? Yep. Heroics again. Yes, they didn't win the thing, but they went substantially further. So three kills so far for Brokey is making it somewhat interesting here, but with nine seconds and already a player towards the site that I don't think he's going to, be able to clear cleanly. No. So saved up. No worries. Three of them still stand. Gets the rifle back into hand, and we're we're okay for the CT side. There is always a danger with FaZe, and, and I hate we have to touch on it because I feel as though it's so simple for most people to understand that, yes, if, if everything aligns for them, of course a team like this can do well. We've seen it before in the past, and I'm sure if they do maintain once in a while, you might see it happen. But at the moment, we've not seen a look of that. We haven't seen it during online play. And they're not one of the teams that I feel have, have necessarily struggled to, like, so like, let's say, Na'Vi, who, who have been very open with the fact that online games are very tricky to them. And they are really going to be regretting that final as well that just went down the other day against Astralis. They yeah. were two maps up in a best of five, obviously with the one map advantage from the upper bracket and dropped it. So let's get this one underway because we might have another Nico on Nico. Jewel flash comes through. Uh, the Bosnian Nico did not hear that push. He will get dinked by the Danish Nico. <sighs> It's not didn't that hard. This. I didn't need this today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brokey, though, could be a real thorn in the side, and I quite like this. Oh, I thought that had been free there, but Nico making it tricky. Heroics, Nico doing well. Playing this back through, I don't know how they get the next step towards the site. I don't see any kits either. Oh, one in front of Kadian, excuse me, I've lied to you. That's a save right there. That's three yeah, rifles. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Or just... Oh, good stuff from FaZe. They're getting off the mark early. The worst case scenario for them would have been them, been them seeing them like seven, you know, rounds down without anything on the board. The only threatening round was Brokey with that Deagle, some storyline along those lines. But here, it's a decent start. And if they can stay competitive in the early stages of a map like this, their map choice of Mirage, then maybe we could be talking about a whole different narrative. I feel that uh, over the years, FaZe have been one of those superstar names and, well, New York, go back to 2017. That tournament victory was one of the most dominant 
I think we've ever had in Counter-Strike. They were just single digiting everybody. It was like 16-6 kind of scorelines in every single game. Just five individuals in the server, everybody with confidence running on over the, all of their opponents. It's uh, been a long time since then, and it's a different looking phase. See if the time off between their elimination from the Pro League groups and now has actually netted them anything, or if it's made things worse. Back towards B we go. Brokey with the smoke. Kirby on the entry. And away we go. Bad flash. Down, dropping his smoke to play around. Hoping to channel them into his Desert Eagle. And, well, Rain was ready. So was Nico. Shutting them down. Keeping it level. AK revealed to be on the B site. And, oh, Nico's oh. got is biding his time. He fluffed his lines a little bit. Tassus does well. Cadian tagged up. Cold two. Bomb's not down yet. Harp's coming from Cat right now. So this is going to apply more pressure. He's got a molly as well. Oh, he doesn't even use it yet. Finds Cold Zera for free. And no frag to come back. Tessus has been such a problem here. Kirby, new addition. Looking to prove himself, prove his worth. Plant would be something. Oh. Getting harassed from all over the place here. And he's going to get taken down by Tessus. So. One of the notes that I would like to make is on that round, Nico was lurking. Right, Kirby was actually the entry factor onto that B bomb site. So when we check out these gun rounds, Kirby was posted into a lot of the roles previously where he would have been, say, for example, the palace lurker or lurking plane for those late round situations that Olaf once did. Now, if they've changed it up in these two weeks phases, mm. the last ditch attempt to make this roster work, then I can really start getting behind that. But that means that Nico, as the... Uh, I guess, individual who's going to be taken out of the mid rounds, right? He's not just plugged into the early rounds. Uh, oh, we're going for mid control information, that kind of stuff. He's going to have to make calls blind. Oh, 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 I love this. Tessus getting aggressive. No fear of the name. No fear of phase anymore. As Heroic looking quite dominant. As Heroic's Nico sitting anti-flash, waiting for any further information to be relayed back. But for now, losing out on phases, Nico, and obviously Rain is a bit of a, a bit of a blow. They, they've lost territory pretty much everywhere. I guess Coldzera could make a little bit of territory towards A, but they have nothing. Yeah, it's all going to be 1v1 jewels right now. As you can see, Coldzera thinking better of heading over towards the A side of things. No more pushes necessary because Heroic, with this number advantage or two-member advantage, can just play in tandem. So this is Tessa's getting an opportunity to get a couple more kills. AK strong as ever. Another frag falling as Nico takes down Kirby through the underpass and will mop up Cold Zero. Can even grab himself an AK-47 upgrade. Uh, Stown and Bow up not close enough to pick up one for themselves. But let's take a look here as well, we see the AWP coming out for Heroic just yet. Doesn't seem like Kadian wants to purchase that up. He has enough money to afford it. 4750 for that bad boy. But it appears they know they're going up against the pistols. Tessus will buy in with the MP9. And that's what is indicative of me knowing Heroic have an understanding of Phase's buy. He wouldn't be purchasing that, especially with no utility behind it, <laughs> if he didn't realize it was going nice to be the pistols. Uh, it jumped into underpass. So yeah, not too shabby over towards that side of things will be rain. So let's see how this duel goes down. Tessus has the advantage and converts. Yeah. Nice. Oh! Shot from Nico, Deagle, slapping today. We remain for the CT side. Perhaps these uh, phase Deagles will do what they're known for. Three of them gathered towards the B side of the map. They'll be remaining silent. Tessus is on his rotation now to prepare for the onslaught. Tessus has to get more than one kill here because if he gets overrun, it's going to be a two on three. Now we can see in Limbo right now is Cold Zero. Kadian playing for information, but all the pressures on Tessus is on a bit of an island. Gonna have to see him now. Oh, he's sharp. Oh, untradeable. Look at this guy. Oh. Just shuts them all down. Really well played by Tessus. Over the ace. <laughs> he might even get it if he goes up short. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to steal the ace. Huh? Come on, Kadian. Play fair now. <laughs> one HP in Cold Zero. Ay. Tessa should be able to just take this whenever he wants. If he wants to be bold, he's going to play it safe. Yeah, so Heroic not giving up too many risky maneuvers early. Tessa's playing that bench position, ready to swing off of Stown's contact, but the contact was the only thing that was needed, and now the AWP's coming on out. Stown's actually purchased on in, and he does the secondary AWPing for the side of Heroic. Kadian will get one for his name as well. And I think what makes a player like Stown so good on the secondary AWP is he's very, very flexible as a player, right? You can see him on the rifles 
always very handy. Mm. Their pistols and everything like that. So I, I think Stown is one of these players who can do a good job of being a hybrid. You can see him missing the jump just there, but we'll make it down to Connector, extinguishing the Molotov. Two ops in middle to deal with this now. Kadian looking underpass, Stown looking top middle. This is going to be difficult to get out of. God, that's not pretty, is it? Oh. That little gap pays so well. I'm surprised that Nika got away with it. A well-timed jump. It's only going to assist as Rain tries to linger a little further forward, but already operating at a man disadvantage. Bomb left at the top of mid. They're going to have to tend to that eventually. And Kadian getting some control building. Look at that. There's just no pressure on them. That's a jewel that he can take single-handedly. Isolates Rain. Kadian has full B caps control. Stown now posted up towards Halls. Takes down Cold Zero. Now it's just Nico and Kyobi who are also strung out in places where they can only go for 1v1 fights. The heads-up jewels for Heroic, they're happy to take this. And normally we would say going into a match, FaZe Clan have more individual ability. Well, lately with Heroic, I would say that these five individuals are some of the sharpest Counter-Strike players we have. And their confidence has been brimming. Oh, yeah, you remind me now, like, Borup's headshot percentage. Yeah. He's just, like, banging people out. So you're, you're, you're not wrong. And I don't know what these two can do. I guess... I, I, I They've got 35 seconds and no bomb. No one's giving anything either. Heroic aren't playing to their tune. Well, there was a chance for Kyobi, I suppose, but for them to get across and plant 20 seconds left, bomb down towards top middle, you could hmm. basically write this round off. They can yes. just stay alive, the CTs, and they win. Sounds pretty easy. Yeah. And that looks like that's going to be the case. So now if I'm phase, I'm worried about going down after time. Nico's kind of stuck in connector. They've spotted the bomb as well. Nico making a lot of noise, and now he can just wait. He doesn't have to re-peek until the time expires. Nico is locked in. And he goes down. So that's horrible stuff right there, as Nico only has $500 left in the bank balance. At this point, they may as well invest in with Galil's for Brokey, Rain, and Cold Zero. Kirby could drop a Deagle and give it to Nico, but he can't get armor behind it. That was a $3,400 loss bonus. So here uh, and now, it looks like it will be a partial. Cold Zero is invested. Rain a little chunk as well. Nico is going in with absolutely nothing. If he gets the 3,400 plus the 500 he has right now, that's going to put him up to 3,900 to get a Galil or an AK-47 in the next. But Kirby, he needs to find some kills. And they've opted to allow him to go solo with the decent or the only weapon that they're really rocking a potency into round number eight. I hope they're not hope I hope they're not letting him go for like lurk plays. With this AK, you want to kind of use it as a crowbar. Smash that shot front window and loot whatever you can while you can. They're coming back over now. I'm pretty sure Nico spotted him anyway. There's also a smoke on cold and two flashes. So they're gonna go for a basic A approach here. It depends on where cold wants to throw this smoke. Mm. Excuse Come me, please. On. Thank you. Looks like he's lining it up over towards uh, jungle. So this one either will go jungle or it will land in between the stairs and the bench wall. Smoke goes out. And there goes the AK. No one can pick it up. Burrup gets two. Kading okay, doesn't quite finish off the job he wanted to. Chances of a bomb going down with so many incendiaries on the CT side, it's, it's highly unlikely. Surprise, Kadian's still vying for it so aggressively. And Bomb is going down. It does go down. Brokey does achieve something after all of that, but it will be the consolation prize uh, for Fwaze Clan. Only a bomb plant. Nothing to write home about too much. They maintain their uh, sketchy money situation, 850 and 500 respectively, which means that 3,400 is not going to get Kirby and Nico into a dream scenario. They'll still have their AKs and all of that util. But we're into it. Heroic starting to really run away with this one now. Should they convert and pass this test, which is going to be all of the bells and whistles. I said five rounds ago when the scoreline was like oh, two. It's seven, two one yeah, no, it's good to see them get around on the board early if they can make it competitive. And we I don't imagine have if it's a... only Brokey's yeah. pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, it feels like I jinxed a little bit there, but uh, the guns are back out. The Brokey, the Brokey Orp is in play, so let's see if he can get anything done. He's one of the uh, best pickups I think we've seen yes. uh, in some time. He's the Brokey. The Brokey. B Mass has is got, is got a fair Looking shout for it good too. As well. yeah. yeah, so the, I mean, the bees. The bees. Oh, Brokey, let's see. It feels almost exhausting to see FaZe do this, but I can imagine how hard it must be for them in the server. Knowing all that potential and finding nowhere to put it. As Testus and Kedian control middle still. No steps can truly be taken. 
a small lean towards middle, but last time it really came to nothing and see if it goes better this time around. It's okay. down. Oh. Eliminated, baited. Falls to Tessus. He's been having a great game, but not today. Brokey, the hero of FaZe Clan, seems to have done it again. Might just call them to save. Yeah, it looks like they're already heading over to way, so I'm afraid that's about as uh, loud as it gets here for FaZe's second round. I've got a song in my head and it's really annoying me. What is it? It goes around the world. Na, 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 na. That around the wow. world. Wow. Yeah. That's really rolling back the years. Yeah, I think it's because you did the I'm Blue Double D thing. And then I was like, oh, what's what, what else is a garbage song that I can get stuck in my head for like four hours? Here you go. Thanks, Brain. Well, Absolutely we, awful. We were listening to some trash music the other day. Britney Spears uh, is a goddamn icon. Yeah, she is. Yeah. How do you call it trash? Well, hit me baby one more time. Is uh... is your loneliness killing you? Yeah, it is a little. Do you still believe? It's killing. Uh, what's the other? What's the Britney one I do like? Is it? Is it toxic? Yeah, that one's not bad. That one <laughs> personifies me. Well, you're uh, addicted to me, but you know that I'm toxic. Yeah. <laughs> That's me and Counter Strike. That's our relationship we have right there. <laughs> The solo queue matchmaking games I did the other morning. Yeah, Stop you're it mad. Up. Masochist. Well, it was 11 a.m. and I thought, what am I going to do with yeah, my Yeah, 11 a.m. solo queue matchmaking. I can't think of a better way to start my day right. <laughs> I'd already started my day. I'd been up since 7.30. Yeah, I do that every day as well, man. Just 7.30, do my gym, my Pilates, my <laughs> solo queue matchmaking games. What is the difference between Pilates and yoga? Uh, I actually don't know. Pilates is more um, like... Uh, Pants? Uh, Breathing-based. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And yoga has been like adopted as more of a religion by some people. Kind of, I see. It's got like a cult following that's uh, slowly been removed in the first it. world. But yeah, it was kind of, it was previously very spiritually driven and it was mm. all about Ooh. your chakras and your nonsense. Kadian hasn't hit a shot. That's fine. Chakras are not aligning there. No, certainly not. But hopefully his uh, moon rising will be <laughs> favorable. It's nade. It could be juicy. Kit Kat Chunky? No. Oh, missed. Bora Papaisis, though. It's not going to get him far. Rain with the plant. Can't dunk him. No HE. And I can't believe he's gotten away with that. With 10 HP, easily sprayed, but the smoke guising it. This is the best chance we've seen in a while for FaZe Clan, Lauren. It certainly is. And the retake, well, it's a step. But Tessa's took a massive amount of damage for it. And timing, of course, will be of the essence. No flashes, the molly and the nade. Unless they find a quick pick, it's looking pretty rough. A trade. Again, none of this is quite clean enough for me just yet, but Cold Zera, Brokey, doing the damage required, and there's the shutdown. FaZe getting at least three now. There we go. That's what we're talking about, more of that. And, and the money situation yes. right now from Heroic means that they can buy, but uh, Stown will be down to something like a pistol, and Tessus will probably be rocking a Famous or an SMG again. We know they love the SMGs on the Heroic side of things when... Uh, the chips are down. Some big kills from Cold Zero there, dealing with that retake situation from Heroic. So the scoreline seven to three now. Nothing too out of control. FaZe can still bounce back and have a respectable scoreline. Heroic here looking to post a minimum of nine, I would say, considering that early start. And uh, well, with this buy, they've actually pushed very, very quickly in towards Palace, taking all this territory. Cold Zero has a good idea as he jiggles very passively, and middle is where uh, the attention should be turned. As Rain now back around the mid smokes with. Old boy Nico in tow. More of the same. Brokey flashing on out. And space will be given. You can see that nobody is close uh, on the radar. They're playing a very, very passive setup on the A side of things. You've got Burr up in limbo having to deal with the window boost and thus the vent push. And over on B as well. Tucked in, Katie and passive. And same can be said for Nico. So this is very, very conservative stuff here from Heroic. I wonder how cognizant and aware Cold Zero is of this. I don't know if the step was heard. He seemed to be trying to check on it or be quite meticulous, but called out by Stown. So that's a nice little upgrade for him. Falls away. Now, it does look like the answer for FaZe is lean towards B. Now, Nico sees this, sees the other Nico, calls for some assistance. My doppelganger is here. Help me out. You're not allowed to kill your uh, clone, are you? You're not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the is rules. Is that to do with time travel? Mm, maybe. Rain's low, but they're all coming through connector right now. So Stown's timing on this peaks everything. Smoking himself off, gonna dance around this. Can't connect onto Rain there. The kill eventually comes in. Stown doing all the work as it's just Kirby left against three. And make that none as... Nice round, Stown. Yeah, he did a great job there. Four kills for him. Lauren, do you see that... Um, What's up? 
the pumpkin spice lattes are back of your fan? I don't like them. No? No. I, I like nitro cold brew with a little bit of sweet cream in there. Okay. That's more my, my speed. Like a flat white. I, I actually don't like pumpkin as a flavor that much, if I'm honest. Same with like cinnamon. Mm. Doesn't really do it for me. I like it as a candle. Very autumn, very, you know, autumnal. Sure. Halloween-y. I like I roasted it. pumpkin. Well, like little chunks nice. of roasted pumpkin and roasted carrot and roasted sweet potato are always uh, quite nice. Yeah. All orange as well. Pretty excited for Halloween, though. This is an interesting approach from FaZe. They have a lot of utility and they're just trying a three-man halls pounce. I don't love it, but Kadian, by not shooting, has actually given them an opportunity to get into the site. Lol. Nice shot. <laughs> There's more where that came from as well. The incendiaries will burn Borov into the wide angle. He's finished off. Nico trades, leaves the bomb loose. Need a fourth here, FaZe, and they're going to the 3v3. This will get a little more... interesting. Nico with the bomb recovered. They clear out the stairs side, so we might try and plant on the other side of that default box, can be contested from the jungle position. Stout, unable to voice his opinion. Brokey covering off CT, and now they can tuck in. Bomb down. A working for FaZe Clan these last few rounds. Aids gonna land on Nico's head. Oh, that hurts. You should smoke apps right now. It certainly could, you're right. Incendiary ramp's not bad either. Oh, but Brokey reveals his location. He knows he's vulnerable to utility. Choosing to fight, the flash is good too. Forces down into a tight spot. Nico does find the necessary frag and he's holding it. Oh, but Brokey, wow. he saves the day. There's no time, Stown. He's got it, he's the got kit. it, I think. Yeah, he's got it. That was super well done there. That was so <laughs> close, but it felt like just enough time. It's surprising that he was even able to pick considering how good Stown's aim is. But oh, if Brokey got away, that was a fantastic round. So nice to see the attempt pulled off to that extent. Stown, the one to save the day for Heroic. We'll see how that one all transpired. Double nades. Finishing off Nico. Stown with a first, and then you can see the iron time he had left. Just knife out, strafing, and... Just down to the wire. It's about to blow. Stone brings home the ninth, and he's, he's got a <laughs> got happy ears. Smile on smile. his face for that one. If Tesla's has got his smoke off, that'd have been perfect utility. But this is perfect as well. Nico up mid, Kirby goes down. Let's go. A Get out of here. Shall we phase? Looks like that's the only uh, yeah. quiver in there. Bow it. <laughs> that's their only thing to work with. That's the only bow in their quiver. <laughs> That's a pretty big quiver. Oh, and you might be quivering after that nade damage comes through. Absolutely battering them. Reigns found a bit of success. A 3v3 sure, but there's danger of plenty. Bosh. Hadian can oh, do. No Bosh. Easy. He draws there his help from its sword. <laughs> uh, I think it might be a save call on the cards for Heroic here. I don't know. Maybe Stan fancies pulling out his holster from the pistol. <laughs> Quite going to go for it just yet. He's still flirting with the idea. And that's the end of that. Dream dead. Stown's out of there. So 9-6 uh, half is on the cards here. And Nico. Ooh, there's maybe another battle to be had as he works out. This is a very strategic lineup we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Executed. <laughs> Alex, don't do that. Nine to four. Lauren's got the gigs. Yeah, do you know why? You know why, <laughs> yeah, Alex. Do, you, you've do. been naughty. I have. You... <laughs> Did you know about his, like, self-casting when he does good? No. I just grab the mic, shove it in my mouth, and scream, executed. executed. Like that, you know? You got, like, four <laughs> Sorry, kills. What? <laughs> when I get four kills, I was, we were just playing some days. She found it really funny. I okay. Executed. All right. She said it to himself. There was no one else around. It was, no. it was excellent. You hype yourself up, Lauren. No one else will. <laughs> well, uh, this is a, a force buy for Heroic right here in round number 14. They weren't working it's with a It's a gamble lot. stack, Chadney. Yeah, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on a little baby bow up over towards A ramp. It has been A attack throughout from FaZe, and I wouldn't be surprised if they head A again. Oh, that's a well-conditioned set of hair. Look at that. Look at the light shining on his locks. You can see in that photo shoot, the man conditions. He's trying to condition the T side into the B side of the map, a smoke deployed. Do you think he does the leave-in conditioner? Or? I really can't recommend it enough. I've gone from feeling overly frizzy to a real luscious, uh, voluminous head of hair. Wow. Leave-in conditioner. It's a good time. It's the end of my hair debate. Borup is doing as much as he can to try and uh, be a thorn in the side of this mid-connector to a hit. It does seem like this round will end in uh, very little action, I'm afraid to admit. <laughs> Uh, this is pretty much the final frag of the round. Here it comes. 
And uh, everyone just holds on to what they've got. So uh, That sounded very pathetic when you hear just a CZ hitting nothing. Just... I don't think uh, FaZe need to chase here by any means. They only have weapons to give up, and Heroic need to uh, also mm. hold on to their armor so that they can maybe reinvest in something a little bit better going into the last round of regulation here, map number one, series number two. And uh, if we just take another little look at our B stream update right now, over there we do have OG taking on Big. The maps were Inferno, Dust 2, and Nuke. OG picked Inferno, Big picked Dust 2, and Nuke as the decider. Uh, Alex said if it doesn't fall in their favor, map number one. Uh, Nuke could be trouble for OG. Will they have a chance to uh, close it up in two? Because they did win Inferno. It went overtime. Seems to be a theme here in IEM New York. 19-15 over Big. And uh, just taking a look at the scores and the doors over there. You have Valde with 27 kills to his name. Alexi B with a bit of a stinker. They still got across the line. He only had nine kills. So uh, mm. his team got him across the line there. It must have been a difficult game to call against Tabson and his German squad. Uh, Keto top fragged for big. So they'll be heading into map number two. You can check out all that action live.intellextrememasters.com for all the streams. And back underway we go. Last round of regulation, round number 15. Regulation, first half even. Round number 15. Don't. In map one. Courage OT, Chad. No, no, I was just, uh, what I meant was first half. All right. Let's see what they can do with these rather subpar weapons. Phase clawing back a good couple of rounds now. And of course, having all that set utility they need, the AWP with Brokey's hand, and it kind of kicked off with Brokey. It did. And Rain, once again, the task towards middle, clear as he goes. Has a look towards window, no one there. Tessus and Cadian kind of doubled up towards connector, and a heavy lean towards A this time. If we had a chart of where FaZe win rounds, I think uh, just be a big A. Ah. Because uh, so far, it's been a similar approach time and time again. Rain and Nico through middle. Yeah, he's getting a little bit inquisitive over towards the B side of things. And, well, it's the right call because nobody's home in the site right now. And to take a duel from short with this MP9 in the hands of Stown, it's not going to be easy. Kirby's dropped off. Has the sound cue been heard? Stown has an idea, but they're busy fighting middle. Brokey's found Nico during all of this. Stown's screwed. Yeah, they're in a lot of trouble right here, Heroic. So it looks like it will be the 9-6 finish, but how clean can FaZe keep it? Oh, dear. Kirby didn't even get that kill. Needed Rain's assistance, and now it's just Tessa's. He's close. He's in checkers. And uh, he's about to be taken out of the round. Nice. Any more of that, Tessa's? No. 9-6 at the half. Phase keeping it competitive, heroic in control. It is FaZe's map pick after all. We'll be back to see how half two shapes up. Something in the distance 
Concentration stations adopted its phase heroic second map on its way. The first Mirage, we've got to get ourselves sorted here. The first half, 9-6 in favor of heroic as they prepare themselves. Definitely coming into this one as favorites. Brokey contributing significantly in some of the phases success. It seems it's a lights off rules throughout the phase households. The sun has set upon our gaming dojos. We're ready to get into the action. Welcome back. First day. I am New York. We're into the pistols. Oh. Let's get into it because already the players are charging towards a 3 2 split. Sound, Borup, Cadian, Tessis. All leaning mid and B side. That's game. I'm trying to suggest. I'll try and be subtle. Let's try and bring that gameplay up. If we yeah. can, because the match is live. There you go. <laughs> we got the double stack towards CT for the newly appointed CT side. Uh, Rain and Nico over there, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be Stown and the vast majority of the T side taking mid control here as your HUD will be updated. Don't worry, we'll try and fix that up for you. There you go. Um, and as I said, taking some mid control here and they've gone quite fast. Stown getting very curious, but found by Brokey very comfortably. And a weird round to begin, but Rain takes a fair bit of damage, has to fall away. If anything, plays in Nico, but the rest of the T is going to pour through towards A. This is where they want to be. Oh, Nico lying in wait here. He's not going to get anything done with this. Now his oh. position's given on up, so chance to play the post plan here. Watch Kadian with the P250. He's going to be the danger man. Never mind, he's the dead man. Oh, like you had to give them that fight. Tessis is an important tool here. and That's a USP. That is a USP. You're absolutely right. It's a plant for him as well. So suddenly he has some power. Kiebi's diffusing Hitting in the smoke. It. And three seconds, two seconds, one. It's phases. Pistol round. Lovely stuff. And they get the frags to partner up with it as well. That's a necessary one. Winning the pistol puts them in contention to close this gap to 9-9. Nine, nine. They got the bomb plant down. So chances are Hero going to eco this and go for the rifles in the next. Maybe some Desert Eagles. Oh no, they're going for it. A second round by okay. with the bomb plan. That's interesting. Yeah, dropping those AKs across. So one for Nico, one for Stown. Deagles for Bow Up, Tessus. And what's Kadian going to opt on in with? The Tech 9. The Tech is that Wreckers. He's actually brought in to a decoy here. So that's quite unusual to see. I want to see where he uses that. He's over towards the top of middle. He might be trying to sell a bit of a fake, but the attack's over towards A. And it's quick too. Already found the first step on the ladder, taking down Rain, but it's going to be Brokey this time played in. And it's actually Nico to find Tessus who had the bomb. So that now goes loose as Bow Up. <laughs> so focused on Nico, may not see Cold Zera, doesn't. And again, another round looking very likely for the CT side in this 4v2. Cadian unable to find any placement with the Tech 9 and already Stown's gone down. It's going to be a whitewash there. Four standing. Yes, Rain did fall, but for the greater good, it seems. That was uh, a bit of an overextension there from Heroic, thinking they could capitalize on that space from that opening kill, but punished for exactly that. And now they will need to take a save. You can see their money hovering around the two and a half mark for the majority of their players. And this shot here from Nico is what completely stalled out the attack on towards the A site, not getting the bomb down, left them in limbo, and then the rest of the frags were mopped on through. So Heroic are just going to invest in a couple of upgraded pistols, P250s for Bow Up and Nico. 
We've got Stown on the Deagle. And it's likely that FaZe level things up here at 9-9 nine to nine in round number 18. Deep nade towards the ramp from Rain, and he's going to smoke out there Molotov to delay the progression of Heroic. Rush, this is your specialty, mate. We, we shouldn't be keeping it from you. All right, Rush is dead. Um, we'll have to send someone into the production room to check on him. Fortunately, I too have cast a link around or two in my time. Yo, yo, sorry, we're just having a, a slight observer problem here with my feed. So we're on MC right now, so I can commentate without oh, observing. Oh, nice! So you actually, can this concentrate! Is kind of He's sabotaged! Yeah. George is leading over me now, looking at my PC. But yeah, this is MC Live, so we like that. Looks like some aggression coming in towards the uh, ramp position over here. A nice little spot for Nico, especially with the scout. He hits headshots with any weapon, so that'll be a chunky nade onto number two. Oof! That's at 85 damage. That's some quick maths live on stream. They always say, don't do maths on stream, but I tell you what, I think I nailed that. But look at three. He's, he's snuck through here, but oh, Nico just takes him down, but that's <laughs> look fine. <at> three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it looks like they are grouping up a bit more towards B here. Number nine will be your action man, and that is Cold Zero. Um, but I don't think uh, the T's have got to look into this round. A couple of upgraded pistols, though. They are dangerous. I don't know what the heck the bomb is doing, though. He's, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess they're trying to fake it. Well, they are the fakey boys, as Chad likes to say, but I think this is going to be an absolute sweep now. Cold here finds one, two, three, and the eco is shut down. Just Cadian left with the deagle. Not going to get much done. Thanks, mate. That was no great, worries. Rush. No worries. That was actually quite good. I felt like rush. he was giving it some yeah, at the start. He I did put on that. the voice for the kills. Well, there was a bit of ramping in there as well. Yeah, but... And if he did that into his real voice, I'd love it. Into his real voice? Yeah, rather than doing the weird accent. Maybe he just feels comfortable doing that, Lauren. No, I know. I'm just... Look, look. I'm not... I have to be in Rush's corner all the time because sometimes you guys bully him and, and he, we talk about <laughs> I'm it. not even... I'm not even about listening it at to this nonsense. And, and, uh, at home? At home. Uh, yeah, they call Rush's house home. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. It's chatting. Rush's place, I guess. All right, well, uh, Kadian only has three kills. I'd like to see some more out of Kadian. Certainly would too. Brokey is the best player on phase plan, though, and he's continuing to prove that. Finds his 18th frag, continually a thorn in Heroic's side, and 18 frags demonstrating his proficiency. In the modern day's Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it's the new blood that seems to have mastered the game, the old guard being left out in the cold, and speaking of the cold, Cold Zera, one that's applicable too. Definitely lost some of the shine that he had in yesteryear. Slowly losing its tarnish in that phase jersey. Now 19. Rain again looking for his double digits, testing the ramp push is Nico. Oh, nice. Nice flash. Doesn't catch him, but it's enough for Rain to profit. Cadian filling the feed a little more. Cold Zera's out and about, though. He's hoping to punish down, and oh dear. That's the B site wide open, courtesy of Cold Zera. And that's a plant as well. Rain going all the way around the world. That's going to take a while to come into place, but once it does, it could be quite fruitful. It's going to cut off a great deal of the area that's wanting to be kept. And with Nico falling, though, it becomes a bigger problem. They don't have as much bite to this anymore. Brokey's the one with a kit. Oh, he's so paranoid of behind him as well. Yeah, if, I mean, if Rain founds down now, but the fact mm. that they're being so passive, it's indicative of a save. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unable to punish here, Rain. <laughs> Looking for just absolutely anything timing against him. And, well, that's going to be round number 10 on the board for Heroic here. Money's still good on the phase plan side of things, being able to weather the force by of... Heroic earlier, and then that eco round means that some cash has been built on up. They will be able to buy on through, and this is Katie, and I said I wanted to see more. Well, he gave me more over on B. Some big kills here to deal with the B bomb site, and now FaZe have to respond. Org out for Kirby, Orp out for Brokey, and it looks like Nico has a rifle there on the ground, so that AK-47 will be picked on up, carried on through, and everything is looking honky-dory as Stan will find his rifle as well in spawn, and away we go. Smoke towards window. A little bit of a gap here. Nico's place. Molotov is good. Can he punish? Yes, he can. Kadian goes down. That's an early man advantage again for FaZe Clan here. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, no. Right. <clears throat> Spot on. This could be the round if... if 
Look at it with that player advantage that they now maintain that they could get right back on par. Let's see where that bomb's going. Drawing itself around. We have Borup joining up with Stown and Nico towards A. And bear in mind, you do have ten testers towards Connector, which could be very helpful. But Rain could be a nuisance. Nico going to get a lot of attention. Rain dips down, preempts that he might need the smoke for the Molotov. And oh, the spam comes out. He's been found by Nico. And while this happened, Brokey did get involved. Two on four, not going to get you far. Double kill for Nico. He is already off to the races. Oh, the chance is starting to dwindle now with a good frag on Kirby. Repeeking in, converting as well to cru crucial frags to bring home double digits. We're equal, folks. 20 rounds in, 10 to 10. I think that we'll see heroic buy here. You can see KD and Nico and Tassas with enough money to do so. Stan could buy him with a Galil. That means Burrup will be the only one down there on potentially a Tech 9 or a Teagle with armor behind it. And there's four seconds remain. There we go. The bike comes on through. I was getting a little bit worried there. Guns dropped across. Tesla's actually giving an AK up to Burrup. He's going to go down towards that Deagle. So as we look to this, it appears that Heroic want to copy out Phase's strategy and try back for that A approach once more. Smoke towards top middle. It's actually been flubbed by the looks of things towards back of cap, but nobody's keeping their eyes up there. They've actually thrown some quick nades over towards the stairs as well. It made a lot of noise in towards Palace. So a, a little bit of confusion <laughs> um, out of Heroic for once here. This is unusual to see. They're going to be sending three players over into the Palace position. Borup, Tessus, and they will be joined by none other than Cadian. You know, having Stown setting up some smokes alongside of Nico. And they'll be coming up through that ramp presence. So here we go. Smoke's over. Flashes to follow. Oh, <laughs> It's not nice, is it? That's not how you want to start things. But Tessa does still stand, but it feels like a matter of time, and it is. Wow. No danger. Absolutely mauled out here, as it is just down and Nico remaining on the site. Five on two situation, 50 seconds left, and eventually Nico pushes on through, takes down Stown, finishes off the doppelganger on the other side of things. That's going to be 17 kills for Nico now as FaZe Clan. They're up 11 to 10. Money over for Heroic. It was the $2,900 loss bonus, which will mean a partial investment is necessary here. We'll have to take a save, hope they can get that bomb down, and we'll be buying in the following round. Good stuff from Brody, continuing to do damage here. And like we said, we needed to see FaZe Clan coming out the gate swinging, putting up a good performance. It was looking dire for a while there. 7-1 to one was the scoreline earlier in the piece here within first half of play. Now, FaZe Clan have the lead. And they're looking good. They're looking to post another one. Flash over towards B early. Cold Zero slightly pressured. Two smokes, two flashes to work with once again. Another flash posted on through. We've drawn a lot of attention over here. Uh, no kills as Cold Zero gets chunked down to 47 points of health. We'll dip on away from the balcony. And the rotation for the CTs, they were pretty agile. They were all moving about. And now they're thinking better of it. They've actually used all their utility on this heroic side of things. And it feels like they'll just be running into the brick wall at the B site. Shouldn't be too much to be shouting and screaming about here. Just called Zera and a multi-kill. Not to be. Cadians to shut that down. Perhaps there is a bomb plan on the cards. Cadians double. Responding in kind, Kirby though, and then makes the rest of the round look trivial. Good fragging from Cadian, at least to make it a little costly, forcing some rebuys on those CTs, but they got cash to splash. It's round 23. Heroic going to be fully equipping themselves and now faced with quite the foot-tool task. It's six rounds in consecutive fashion. Ooh. And a timeout rarity to see from FaZe Clan, but called all the same. It's a US Air Force tactical timeout. These are the Deagle shots from Kadian Uno. And here comes Doss. Nope, never mind. There's a shot, though. Yeah, I'll be finding his third there as well. I'm curious to see right now if they go for the double op now on FaZe, because Nico had one AWP in his hands. So will he drop that across to Brokey, or will Brokey buy out one for himself? So this timeout being called is probably Yanko talking the team through a gear shift that they might be expecting, or maybe a pocket strategy that Heroic like to bring out when the chips are down. We can see their buy coming on through. Tassus doesn't have any utility behind his AK-47, but everybody else is able to purchase on what they need. And that's because Tessus actually dropped the AWP over towards KD. You can see there he spent 5,750, while the AWP cost 4,750. So the other grand was spent on his head armor, and the AK was given on over. 
So back underway we go. We'll just be that one op, and Nico's actually using Ooh. it to kick things off here. Up middle? Question mark? It's so good from Nico, but it's very unorthodox. And now Bora... Wow, I can't believe Brokey won that. How? Yeah, he was caught out, but didn't quite find the headshot necessary. So Brokey working with 7 HP and 2 opening frags for FaZe Clan. Looks like Mirage might very well be theirs. Down seems to disagree, eventually finishing off what his teammate Borup started. Typing in the chat doesn't incite confidence. But... <laughs> Maybe they're having a bit of a giggle. Regardless, it's down Nico and Tessis. Looking to overcome what was a three versus five, two opening kills for FaZe Clan. Oh, if that push at a ramp right now from Rain and Nico continues forward, they might get met here with a little bit of a surprise. Nico, he's ahead of this over towards Palace. The timing on Stown and Tessus is going to be everything here. Is they're going to round this corner with the shift key down. Could be a double for Rain. Oh my Good. God, Stown's very quick, and Nico's trying to fill the gap. This should be a frag. Nice work, flash though. Forced to stay at that ramp position. Tess is trying to play it safe. Jiggle though. Nico spots him. Let's try to close that gap. Oh, Nico's trying to have the that element of surprise. surprise. Oh, lovely. Now, what was a five versus three in favor of FaZe is a two on two. Kirby on the stairs. A flash evaded. Crossing. Stairs found. Nice work from Kirby. Tess is to clutch. Doesn't look like it'll be easy. And it's not. FaZe hold on to the lead and convert it. That's 13. Oof, it's looking good for FaZe here on map number one. Very, very you think very they could maintain it on train? Ah, oof. Train of all maps is the one where we saw Kirby getting exploited towards that inner bomb site. So if they continue with Kirby in that position, I'm going to say no. Uh, but if we see a switch up again coming in from Heroic, uh, sorry, from FaZe in their approach, then potentially. Um, I'd say two weeks is maybe a chance for Kirby to become a little bit more comfortable, but even still, is it a risk that you want to take and hold on to that he did get better in that time? Who knows? Okay. Speaking of risk, they're more than up for it. Taking these fights, yes, Town and Stown and Tessus are doing well, but not well enough to convert any of these just yet. And again, shut down, Cold Zera and Nico in combination, making light work of this mid-piece. His bore up, his ramp pressure, his ramp presence seems almost silly at this point, but he does circumnavigate rain maybe not turns around gets there in time face looking pretty good yeah money situation now bottom of the barrel time and time again for heroic when i say bottom of the barrel obviously it could be worse it could be a fourteen hundred dollar loss bonus but the sense that they will just continue if they don't get the plans to get 3400 injected into their bank balance they'll be taking a time out here and as we all know hunden he's not allowed in the server for an extended period of time so at this point you have somebody like Kadian who's calling blind right he is just in the server tunnel visioned on information he has taken about phase and the approach to their game they want to go with round after round now they've only got one t-side around I'm sure this would be the fantastic time to have a coach come in and call something because look at this. You have a spree of, what is this, five rounds in a row without a plant. You have the two rounds before that as well. You throw those together. That's seven rounds out of eight rounds that FaZe have posted on the board where there have been no plants. And as the one round that they won was when they managed to get the bomb down. So at this point, Heroic uh, looking relatively stumped. They're down to these deagles, down to light utility. Kevlar in play for the majority. And again, it looks like FaZe Clan are poised to post another round. And not only is this another round, it's round number 15. And we came in here today. I think predictions across the board were that Heroic was going to take down FaZe Clan. Mm? Do you remember Rush's prediction? 99. Yeah, do you remember? Harry went 100%. Yeah, Never, go 100%. <laughs> Never go 100%. Never go 100%. Look, Rush will have to atone for his sins to Yanko, if anyone. That's right. We will be having Yanko in on the interview. So... Have fun, Rush. It is only map one. This could go all three. Yes, yes. Train is definitely still a question mark. We're, we're only joshing if any of you do get a little upset about it all, of course. Mm. 15 should be posted here. Even with quite a decent buy, it, it's certainly outmatched pound for pound. Certainly could be it. a long day for the players of Heroic and FaZe Clan. Just Eagle Armour. Hoping to take it into OT. Should this not go to plan? No reverse run boost <laughs> for style points. Yeah, lots of air there, lots of hang time. So they have mid control and they have a minute to work with. Smoke towards window, smoke towards connector. Pressure can be applied through apps from Nico. Bit the spam damage done to Stown, but nothing too crazy. Getting set up now. I think the attack will be coming through any second. Yep. Over. Molly to follow. And well, Rain's going to handle this. So far. It feels too comfortable right now for FaZe. Yep. 
Bomb will go down. So this is the third time in this second half the bomb's gone down. I'm a little stumped, if I'm honest. This is a bigger picture than just this round. I mean, Hero can still try and hold on to this, though. Retake now having to come in. Brokey still stands, even after the damage was thrown at him. Nice. Stown's got one on the cross. The trade comes right back out. Yeah, time's on their side, unfortunately. We've got plenty of time to get the smoke in. Kadian left to clutch, and if he hits oh. that, now maybe there's a chance he hits the shot onto Cold Zera. Fakes it out in the smoke. Kadian, oh. We can pretty much call it clear now. Tucking in, using the clutch time, and oh, Colts just ran out of it. Kadian with the clutch. A one versus three. It ain't pretty. Cold just running out of time. Cost heroic, or rather cost face clan the round. That might be the one round that they need to get this going again. That'll get you fired up, especially if you're in-game leader and one of the most passionate members of this squad. Kadian is pulling out a one on three situation. So if they're looking for inspiration, that's it right there. And they'll need five on the trot here to close this out. Or a phase post one. Well, overtime could be locked on in. Orp will be out for Cadian. Brokey back on his big green. Kirby sticking with that org. Smoke towards connector from Nico here. He's going to just tuck around and keep this mid control single handedly. So lots of work being done by the in game leader and star player of phase. And Cadian kept on notice. So he's pushed on down to 34 points of health. Looks like the B finish is on the cards with yeah, the bomb. Look at the info. Rain's out. gone. Nothing palace. He's pushed up deep. Likely a B finish. Brokey's already got his orb there, and he's been very influen influential. He's a B defender. Flashes are coming over now. Stown likely to drop one of his, or it's Nico behind Stown. For that second, there's three of them. Three of them. Dug into that site. Brokey doesn't miss. Gets his first. Boosted up. Should have the element of surprise, and he does. Goes trading. Just all onto Kyirby now. And he oh. does find a great shot into one and two. That should be the 15th locked and loaded. Bar up to clutch. That's his plan. Oh, the tighter of the choke points here. Difficult task ahead of him. If he can take out Nico, then yeah, sure. Kyirby is low, but this first duel is going to be the most difficult. He gets the right eye peek into the kitchen here. Oh, that's a big bonus right there. Nico might think this is completely clear. If he doesn't tuck into bench in time. Oh, oh. no, car crash. Yeah, that's a disaster. Can't ask for anything worse. <laughs> Just dropping all the nades in mad panic. Kirby might accidentally give him the fight here. Shouldn't need to. Oh, good timing. Good from Kirby. Yeah, great round. The B defender defends B. So that's 15 on the board for FaZe here. One around from picking up map number one. And look, I thought with the overlap of map pool here, I would have Heroic backed in on every single one of the maps that they do play, knowing that Dust2 is their perma ban. But uh, FaZe have come out. They're actually playing some good Counter-Strike here after a rocky start of the map. They're uh, now well and truly in the lead. And uh, a bit of tilt there from Tessus. We've seen the good moments. Now I think we're going to see the bad from Heroic. The rocky start in Pro League was a group stage. This here, GSL. Lost? Yeah, Pacey. Here we go. Oh, Nico. Double. Finds it so quick and Rain still yet to show his hand. Finally shows face and it's down to just two of them left. Huge win. Looking great for FaZe Clan. It's down trying to say no. It's between him and Adian. Hard shots to hit. Oh, Kirby's head visible. Doesn't go down. Nico's on that bench in an elevated position, hoping to catch him. And he does. Kadian pays a heavy price for the first frag in this 1v3. And just one frag is all for FaZe Clan need in order to pick this one up. Lurking around the smoke. Kyobi's got a nice little off angle. Should go completely fine. That's it. FaZe Clan take their map pick. Heroic. Going into their turf next.